Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Astronea with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to Dawn on the scorched planet so close to the sun. In today's episode, our main goal is to explore this planet. What does this planet have to offer to us other than the deadly storms, which is hitting us every five or so minutes? A little bit annoying, but it does showcase just how small this planet is, since this storm just keeps on circling around over and over again. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and hide from the encroaching storm, and then we're going to research these two nodes, and then extend our base so that we have some vehicle storage. The storm has passed, and it's time to research the two nodes, starting off with the red one. And this one is giving us... The winch. I have no idea what that is or where that goes, but certainly something different. So, like I was saying in the previous video, when it comes to research nodes, what we figured out is if it's a unique node, a node you haven't used before, it will always give you a blueprint. However, I have had some serious conflicting sources when it comes to will you ever get a blueprint after that first attempt. So if I continue to use these green ones, for instance, would I just keep on getting resource after the first blueprints, or would I occasionally get other blueprints? From my experience so far, I I have never got another bit of research from the same type of research node. It's always been resource. And that didn't tell me what it gave me. I'm going to look back at that footage because that was very confusing. Well, a little bit in the future, and it turns out I didn't get any research from that previous node. I've also researched three more nodes from just over there in the distance, where the tethers are going off, all of the same type, and each time I got resource. So if you do get other research, it seems to be very difficult, so going for unique ones seems to be the easier option. Come on, we need one more lithium, then we can make one more battery. So the goal right now is to have two batteries and two solar panels, then hopefully with that, every time we need to do something, we should have a decent power reserve. There we go, and the second battery can now be created. And just keep on making fuel. I don't know what I need next, because I'm not sure what these solar panels need. Second battery goes there which will hopefully fill up in a second, there we go, and very quickly, the solar panel, oh, just two compound, that's fine, I believe there is some compound over here, at least I hope it's compound and not another weird thing which I think is compound and then, nope, it's absolutely not. And then I think I've got one back at the base, but I'm just going to grab another one if I can, which I apparently can't. Is that compound over there? I think it is. Excellent. And so we get the second solar panel as that storm just narrowly misses us. Two solar panels, two batteries. That's almost as good as our setup back on the other planet. In fact, it could potentially be better. I'm really not too sure. Shall I continue expanding our power reserve, or shall we work on our car now? I think it's about time we build our truck. So now I would like to build the truck. Or I could build a forge. I do need to be able to smelt stuff, because right now we are relying on purchasing the more expensive variants, which have already been smelted, which is a little bit silly. You come over there, need some resin. I apparently had one already, which is good. Of course, now I need two more, so of course, let's go back over here. Can I please have some resin so that I can make the forge? It's best we get all of this set up now rather than later, so when we go exploring, we can find everything, come back, and just deal with it rather than doing this later, which will be very, very annoying. Well, here we are in the future. All of the usual stuff has happened. I've built myself a truck, I've built the smelter, and I've connected it all together. So right now we have all the basic stuff to get started exploring the world. Although first, I would like to build the second truck, and then from the second truck, we can add ourselves the crane and the drill bit. 
But of course, first, I do need some more aluminum, which I'm about to try all of this lovely fuel for. A lot easier when you can smelt it. Because otherwise, we'd have to buy the more expensive stuff, which is double the price, which takes a lot longer to do. There we are, I'll be getting that, thank you. And now, for the drill bit, what do I need? Regular storage. I still haven't seen the large storage. Perhaps it's just the storage you can build onto the truck. So I still think there are more things I am yet to... Ooh, there's the winch. I am yet to research. Storage, wind turbine, drill head, battery, drill head. Two copper. Okay, we have two copper ready to be smelted. Let's put that in along with that aluminum. And then after that, we can add the full four from over there. Now, give me that copper. In fact, give me that everything. Give me all of the metal. One copper, two copper, you get built. And then over here, we can grab ourselves the truck. At this stage, we could actually go out and start exploring, because we can do all the usual mining stuff, we just can't mine these particular ores. But since these are weird ores, which I really hope are going to be somewhat cool, I think it's worth the wait. One seat, three seat, crane... Oh, so that there is the large storage. Okay, so I do have the large storage then. Because that has the connected segments. I do wonder if you can take that off though, I'm not thinking you can. And apparently we need four more copper. Now thankfully there is some copper just around the corner here, so no need to make the fuel. Although I will start making one fuel before we get going. Going to go ahead and grab the copper, smelt it, then add the crane, add the drill bit to the crane, and finally, we can get going. I've actually been playing now for about half an hour. I have no idea how much footage I've actually been able to record, because it's just been me running back and forth. And I see you there, aluminum, just underneath the surface. You are copper, right? Question. Yes, you are good. We've already drained dry the reserve from over there. I needed four, didn't I, for the crane? And, of course, no power. A bit of a cut again. Now, normally I wouldn't cut this much from the video, but honestly, it's just doing the same thing we were doing on the other planet. But now, we do have our crane ready, and it's time to test it out versus this type of rock. So, let's place ourselves somewhere near the rock, even though it's very, very difficult. And let's see if this will work. We have also found two more unique research nodes, which were just on the plants we saw earlier. Oh yeah, that definitely works. Look at that, just erasing it. And the lithium is being attached to the side of the crane. Which thankfully does have two spaces. Can I quite reach that? Not quite, but we got the most of it. We got one full lithium and a half. Okay, so that is how we're going to do the mining in this place then. Now, sadly, controlling this is really difficult, especially since I've added this extra weight. So we're going to go back round, and we're going to see if these two research nodes are worth anything new, or are they just going to do the same as that last one and give me nothing and kind of glitch out? Let's jump on you. And let's see. Can I kill these things? No, even the mining drill doesn't work on them, so they are going to be here permanently. Nice bounce, by the way. Trying to get this thing to move is so... <laughs> it's hard to explain how difficult this is unless you've played it yourself. Just the controls are not at all what you'd expect, and then the one at the back here is constantly causing my steering to bugger up. Okay, close enough, close enough. I don't want to risk getting any closer and getting all this tangled up. Excuse me. Oh, and these are two more research nodes I found, which are the same as the stuff I found earlier. Okay, the unique one is giving us... Nothing. 
Okay, I assume then I've learned everything, but because they're unique, they're still trying to give us the research. We then use this one, which I believe is one we found earlier, which will then give us resource. As expected, this one should also then give us resource, 100% chance. If that theory is correct. Again, I've been told so many things from so many people. The information right now on this is so conflicting, it's unbelievable. So, I'm just doing science myself. For now, after this, what I'm going to do is detach the back truck and then just go exploring. I want to see what's actually on the planet. Have we run out of power? We have run out of power? Okay, then. But what we're going to do is detach the drill because it's making my controlling life absolutely hell. I said detach it. It's very difficult when the attaching line is so small. There we go. Let's go. Oh, that's so much easier. Everything is happier now. What I would like to do is let's see if we can do a full lap of this planet. So try to continue along this way using that lovely star system for guidance. I wonder if there's any ruins on this world like on the original world. So many resource nodes! Research nodes, rather. There's loads on this planet in comparison to our original. Oh, maybe I should have brought the drill for the front. It wouldn't have hurt to add it. Yep, yeah, definitely should have brought the drill. There's a cave. Which has yielded... Ooh, hello. A really creepy looking research node. But like I say, apparently we've learned everything because they're giving me nothing now, so... No point in taking them, and even for the resource, it's not too bad. Just leaving it behind. What's that? Blue blob. Is that a plant? Like the others. Now, normally, that would have a research node on top, wouldn't it? Can I harvest it at all? Or... Ooh, okay, that one has one on the underside. I'm afraid I've just killed you for nothing, poor plants. You're somehow living on this planet, and I've just came along and destroyed you. Oh, descending into a valley. Ooh. More plants. I also need to go underground at some stage. That'll be the next thing. Right now, explore the top. Next step, explore the underside. Is that something special? Is that just weird looking? Oh, it is actually a research node. Everything is a research node in this place. It's like ribs. Ribs. It's a spine, rather. Kind of. Yeah, but yeah, they look like vertebrae, right? But that we have seen before, so that will give us resource. I mean, I can't really fit it on right now, I'm afraid. Okay, so continuing towards that. Oh! That's the breeze causing that. Look at that flip. Because of the storm nearby, that was causing everything to move so much faster. Another unique resource node. This place is amazing. Research node. A fun drinking game for all the family. Every time Lathrix messes up research and resource. Oh? Is that coal? I'm thinking that's coal. Now coal, according to the trading station, is the most valuable resource. Which is a bit weird. I wonder how much power this gives then in the generator. And thankfully, we are getting power from our lovely stationary truck because of its wind turbine. Ooh, although now we're not. So that's a bit worrying. Have I got any compound I have? I could make a power cell. Yeah, go on then. This is a non-permanent source of power. Ta-da! There we go. Well, that's pretty much everything taken from here, so let's dig our way back up. That is so helpful. Let's make sure we don't fall in here, because that would be absolutely atrocious. Ah, 
and back to exploring the world. Uh, um, there we go. Back to exploring the world. Look at how much coal we've got. And there's more coal over there, so apparently coal isn't as rare as I thought, at least not on this world. Wonderful. One more of you. Hello there, sir. This place is very rich in terms of both resources and research. More coal again. Now I feel a bit silly for dedicating so much time to mining out that coal vein. Wow. Would you like some research? No, thank you. Full on research, apparently. Am I still going the right way? I feel like... I thought I would have got all the way around by now, but apparently not. Oh, another unique plant. That's cool. More of those horrible little things which spike you when you get close. Oh, and we have found some wreckage. That's what I was after. Hmm, nothing to use there. How about over here? No, just a bit of random debris. Nothing really overly special. Just making sure, nothing else. Am I missing anything? That's kind of pretty in an eerie alien way. Back onwards to try and finish the lap. It's been about 20 minutes now, and I'm starting to have this horrible feeling that maybe the worlds aren't actually round. I'm really hoping they are, but there's a real chance at this point I'm just going on forever. Certainly no sign of home just yet. And sadly, the terrain is looking very, very samey at this point. I've even been checking my little compass to make sure I am going in one direct way, but nothing yet. Nothing yet. Ooh, there's something in the background. I think we have found a structure. Still apparently nowhere near home, or at least not close enough to see the home beacon, but at least we found something. There's a research node, two research nodes we've already used before. And that looks to be just about it. Seems like we can attach something there. I wonder what would happen if we attached some power. I believe I saw some power like a few minutes behind us. I don't think it's worth going back for that. And that has an attachment as well. Well, we've definitely used these before, so no point in grabbing those, and... Yeah, nothing too shocking there, very similar to the original world. And I am starting to get that feeling that we are in pre-alpha. Just not all that much left to do. Still need to explore the innards of the world, though, so there is still stuff to do on this planet. And then we need to move on to the other planets, as now we're in quite a fast orbit around the sun, it shouldn't be too difficult to grab onto the others. Am I still going the correct way? Let me have a quick look-see. Yes, I am. Okay. Just in case that wasn't reliable, I've been heading east the entire time, so if this planet is round, we should eventually come to the other side. Praise be to the dark gods! There we are! We have finally made our way all the way around the planet, and we have seen the home beacon. And there it is, we are indeed home. That took 38 minutes. So credit where credit's due, these planets are not small. And this one is definitely smaller than our home planet. So that's both really impressive and really weird. 
finally home though. Well done, we've made it. We are the explorers who made it all the way around this world. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to call the episode because I'm actually very tired. It's probably fairly obvious in this video. I've been stumbling over words and the episode itself has been a bit all over the place. So I do apologize for that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the episode here. Like I say, I'm going to actually build a new spaceship. The reason being, I want to add the large storage to it, so this time we can carry a bit more, and then we're going to go to another planet in the next episode, after we've explored the depths of this planet. So with that, if you have enjoyed the video as all over the place as it was, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Astronia is a series you would like to see continued in the future. Count this as a free episode, as I'm going to record the next one straight afterwards, after I've had a little bit of a nap. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye. That is a really weird looking planet. We need to go there.